Good morning, guys. Congratulations on Hot Summer Nights. Thanks so much. Yes, I love this movie. Thank you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> and the timing of its arrival could not be more perfect because we have the heat wave yes. that we're experiencing. Yes. Many yes. <laughs> summer nights. That's so right. In LA. Yeah. And we continue to experience it. Now, uh, what is it about Elijah's script that drew you to these roles for each of you? Go ahead. Um, I mean, the script itself was so good, I wouldn't have cared what character I was playing because I just wanted to be part of it. Um, but no, I think these characters are also interesting, and um, I loved, you know, the picture painted of this sort of um, seemingly like carefree town, but you get to see the kind of darker underbelly of that and the hopelessness that comes with that for the locals who are kind of left behind um, when the vacation is over. And I thought that was that was really interesting. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah I, rem I remember reading it for the first time and. Uh, it was just, uh, we read a lot and it just stood out. Mm -hmm. um, and I was just like, I have to do this. I want to meet the director. How do I How do I get involved? So that's kind of how it started for me. Yeah, Elijah's such an amazing writer. But his in-between, so the dialogue's amazing, but then the stuff that you guys don't the actually see, yeah. the descriptions of the characters and the descriptions of the places and stuff mm -hmm. like that is so um, like vivid and funny and like really, yeah helps you imagine the whole story and you see it through Elijah's voice. So that's, I think, why mm -hmm. it stands out so mm -hmm. much. But um, yeah, it's just a, an amazing story about friendship and like first love and um, yeah, and like you're saying, the dark underbelly of the, yeah, of the town that people go on holiday at. I actually went to Cape Cod for for like three, two, two and a half, almost three weeks to oh. try and understand that whole like, um, that because it, it exists in England but not really in London necessarily. It's not like a holiday town really. So that like uh, juxtaposition between the, the townies that are there, they are there during the like harsh winter months, mm -hmm. and then the summer birds come in for the summer, and they just uh, like kind of enjoy the fruits of everyone else's labour that they've had to kind of endure for the for the year the year before. Um, so that I kind of yeah I was I went and researched it to understand that. But there's places in in Europe and in England that are quite similar. It's like that seaside town, but mm -hmm. apart from it just being a teenager, yeah, and kind of drawing from that. I guess. Definitely. I got I gotta ask you, what's it like working with the Oscar nominee Timothy Chalamet? Um, he wasn't an Oscar nominee when <laughs> That's we watched right. it. Yeah, it was a while ago. <laughs> yeah, he was not at that point. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. special. Yeah, was, I mean, incredibly talented. It was mm -hmm. so fun working with them. It was so fun working with everyone. Though. I mean, it was. Um, I think the, the chemistry and, and the relationships um, that we kind of built um, were all. Um, yeah, it was just it was something very special, something different that I hadn't really experienced on any other movie. Mm -hmm. How close we all were. We were living in a house together, also. Um, that I think helped a lot. But, yeah. As I'm winding down to my final questions, what do you hope? You know, adolescents, folks, and teens uh, would take away or would um, you know from from watching this movie? Don't somebody. sell drugs. Don't ever do it. Especially not in smoke them. <laughs> them. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't do go it. near it. Just say no. <laughs> exactly. Just that is the lesson. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wow. There's know. lessons in there. There's lessons I, about I, love and yeah. lust and. And also, I just hope you know people watch it and they can maybe connect with the character, feel like oh, I've been there. Or, I don't know. That's always nice when when um, have people kind of connect with the character that you play. Yeah, I think as the characters get unearthed, uh, uncovered, unearthed, um, they yeah they you there's these characters that are like super like super cool kind of character on the outside or like a super sexy kind of character on the outside, and then as you under as you un uncover that, you kind of peel back the, the layers and you find out more about them. So I guess it's kind of like that not everything is as it seems. Mm. Last fun question. Um, can you give pro, tip, pro tips for my fans on how to stay cool during these hot summer nights? Oh, wow. I, my electricity went out. That is so. <laughs> so I was like, no, wait, see? I had the worst night's sleep when this heat wave came in. But have you guys got any tips? Because um, I obviously don't. 
Ice Let's cream? Uh, yes, ice cream or like a, like a damp. <laughs> Put yourself in some a water. damp cloth tied around your neck. Find a body of water and <laughs> sit in it. Yes. <laughs> Terrible steps. Terrible. Just, a, a small paddling pool. Yeah. yeah. A kiddie yeah. pool? Oh, we had one of those growing mm-hmm. up. I'm from Australia, so it's super hot there in the summers. And we we always had like a little, little blow up. Yeah, little blow up. Kiddie pool. Really one in the back and just sit in it. That's what you do. Perfect. There you go. Mm -hmm. And showers. Mm -hmm. That's some perfect advice. Thank you so much, you guys, and congratulations on Hot Summer Nights. Thank you so much. Thank you.